everyone. You know, I am so happy to see you all here tonight. Um, thank you for, for coming. Uh, this is an extremely important issue for us in Santa Clarita, and it's a deadly, serious issue, and it has already devastated many families. The fact that you are all here gives me hope that we can tackle this problem in our community. The City of Santa Clarita, the Sheriff's Department, school districts, and various agencies are, are committed to working together to curtail the use of heroin in our community. And tonight is not just about giving you the information you need to protect yourselves and your loved ones from this terrible drug. There is also something that I would ask of you. When you leave here, take what you have learned with you and spread the word. Tell all that you can that this is a problem that we need to face together. Heroin kills. We don't need to lose any more sons and daughters in Santa Clarita. We have an amazing program for you, and I hope you find it beneficial. Once again, I really thank you for coming here. This is extremely important for our kids. Our kids don't know how dangerous this is, and it's up to us to tell them. And for all of those who are not here tonight, you can be our ambassadors. And we appreciate you very, very much. Thank you so much for coming. And now I would like to introduce to you Councilman Frank Ferry. I really want to thank you guys for coming out tonight. This is a great, great um, attendance for such an important topic. I always tell my kids I have three hats I wear. And I go around and tell them the first one is councilman. And I thank you guys for supporting the council and all the things we do here in this great community. The second is I'm an educator. I'm a principal. Before that, I was at Valencia and Saugus High School. And many of you, I've had your sons and daughters or brothers and sisters the most important I, hat I wear is I'm a dad. I have two beautiful sons, Jake, a junior at Valencia High School, and Nick, a senior. Actually, he's not a senior. He's a sophomore in college. I'm getting old. I am getting old, big boy. Seems like yesterday you were walking him to kindergarten. It doesn't. Now he's a sophomore in Massachusetts. That hat is the most important hat, and that hat is what brings everybody here today, you moms and dads. Now, heroin. I grew up with the same thought of heroin that everybody in this room did. And we all know what that is, right? That's the movies, the 1970s movies, where you got the guy all haggard in the alley, and he's got the, the needle stuck in the arm, and the needle sticks there with the rubber cord around, and you know the teeth are all rotted out, and that music in the background, you know, the sinister music. And that's what we think of heroin all you moms and dads out here that are around the same age, I'm gonna say 40-ish, okay? Moms and dads in the 40-ish. We all have that same image of that movie, TV, heroin addict. I'm here to shock you a little bit. In the last year, 2010, we had over 100 heroin arrests here in the Santa Cruz Valley. In the last year, we've had nine fatalities as a result of heroin. I tell parents and kids that the first time a kid takes a cigarette smoke, usually when they're about 12, 13 in junior high, the first time they try that beer in that wine cooler, the summer of ninth, 10th grade, the first time they take that marijuana hit, generally ninth, 10th summer of high school, they are that much closer to heroin. Heroin now is 70 times stronger than it was before. It's more pure. So when I say, what is the face of heroin users? Parents, it's no longer that 70s TV movie sinister look. Right now, look to the face of that young person to the left, to the right of you. That's the users in the Santa Cruz Valley. This is not a Santa Clarita problem. This is a national problem that we now are being proactive in. I know some people said, oh, Santa Clarita, we've got a problem, we've got a problem. No, this is nationally happening across the country. 
But we, as a community, are stepping up to protect our young people before it becomes a bigger issue and we lose that 10th individual. Now, the city started a website. It's called heroinkills.org. You want to go to that website to get more resources later tonight or later when you see it. But it's important for you guys to understand tonight to take away that your sons and daughters are at risk every time we let them go off to a party, every time we go off and they go to an unchaperoned event, every time they go off with someone we're not aware of where they're at, your kids are at risk. Why? Because if they don't have the tools that you give them as moms and dads to say no or to walk away, one time, one time they could use heroin and they're either going to be addicted or dead. And so just like I hand, hey, dude, this is good stuff. I need you to smoke this joint. And you know what? Stand up. What's your name? Tanner. Tanner? What's your name? Come here, Becky. Becca, what school? Royal Seiko. What school are you at? Charter College. Charter College. And what's your name? Becca O'Connor. Becca. Be Becca. Becca. Okay. Do you think this poor sucker has any chance whatsoever if she asks him to smoke or drink? I could barely get a Royal Seiko out of the dude. And if he's at a party, and this smoking hot, what grade are you in? She's in college. He has no shot at all. <laughs> None. That's what these young men and women are dealing with. All right? It's going to be that cute, hot girl that's going to offer the, the wine, the beer, the cigarette, or heroin, the new thing they just got for free. Why are they going to give it for free to our kids? Get them hooked one time. And this poor sucker, he might say no every other day until she comes along. I'm an equal opportunity person. What's your name? I'm Jerry. Jerry's going to show up, quarterback of the football team. Let's pretend you're in ninth grade. Because the young men that are seniors in high school, young college kids, frat kids, they know to give alcohol to our young ladies, marijuana to our young ladies, in order to try them to do things they normally would not do, which then results from them making decisions they normally would not do. So if you don't think heroin is a possibility for your kids, every single one of you, when you think back to your teens and you had that smoking hot girl offering the beer or the quarterback guy that was offering you that joint, you know it was difficult to say no and you probably didn't. And you probably ended up doing some things you didn't want to do and regretted the next day. That's our battle. And this is a war, and I truly mean a war, because that heroin is out there. It's available. It's cheap. It's accessible in the Santa Cruz Valley. It's accessible nationally. And if we as a community don't band together to protect her and him and him, we have to stand together so we protect everybody's children, not just our own. So I expect you, if you ever see Nick and Jake, in a circumstance where my sons are making bad decisions, you have to stand in and be the parent for me to stop what's going on. You have to stand in and be the parent and call me and tell me something I don't want to hear, right? And if we do that together, parents, for each other, we can win this battle.